If you don't know me, I'm Mr. Graves, and I'm making these videos to help my beginner French horn players play along with their book, Notes, Drills, and Tunes. You might find that this helps you play along with whatever book you're in as well. Today I'm doing Unit 1. I'll work on each of the notes in Unit 1 and each of the drills and hopefully some of the tunes as well. I'm going to play each thing several times so you'll have a chance to hear it and play along. Let's start with the first three notes in Unit 1. Unit 1 uses the notes A, G, and F. A is the highest note. It uses the firmest embouchure and the fastest air. Embouchure on the French horn is the way we form our lips and set our lips slightly lower in the mouthpiece. We want our mouthpiece set a little more on the top lip. This would be where the ring is. Not here and not low. A little more top lip. And when we buzz, we keep the corners closed. <coughs> Letting the air come out just the middle. That sounds transferred to the mouthpiece. Again, more top lip than bottom. Corners of the lips stay closed. And then to the horn. A uses first and second valves. If you have a double horn with a thumb rotor, you can also use the thumb rotor and first and second valve. Now you play. My turn. Your turn. Make sure that your sound matches mine. If it sounds lower, you need to speed up the air and make the embouchure a little firmer. One more time, A. Your turn. Let's try the next note, which is G. G is one of the notes on French horn that is fingered open. No valves, no thumb rotor. I'll play, then you play. Your turn. Your turn. Once more. The final note in unit one is F. F is fingered with the first valve only. First valve is the one with your finger number, your first finger, your pointer finger. Your turn. Then me. Then you. One more time, me. Then you. You want to memorize each of these notes, name, fingering, and most importantly, where it sits on the staff. We're now going to do lines one through six. These lines use each of these notes and a rhythm. You can tell which note is to be played by which space or line of the staff it's on. Drill number one uses A. Let's try it together. We'll do it once through. I'll wait and then we'll do it again. Here's the beat. One, two, one, two, three. the next note, G, but the same rhythm. Make sure that you set your embouchure before you play, and if you need to breathe in the middle of the line, like I did, 
Breathe quickly through the corners of the mouth. Ready? Drill two. One, two, breathe. One more time. Make sure your sound matches mine. One, two, one, two, three. Okay then, drill number three uses that same rhythm with the last note we learned, F. Let's try drill number three. It's the lowest note, so it should feel a little bit more relaxed, but just slightly so. One, two, one, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Okay, so for the next few lines, we're going to use those notes mixed up a bit. So you have to look which space or which line. Remember, A is the highest one you see on the second space. F is the lowest one you see on the bottom space. And G is right in the middle. Let's do drill number four. We'll do it twice. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Two, breathe. Did you notice my mistake at the beginning? You're going to make mistakes like that too. But the important thing is to keep going and get the rest of the notes right. Don't stop for the one mistake, but try to recover and figure out as you go, what do I need to do differently? Let's do it again, only better. Here we go. One, two, one, two, breathe. <laughs> One more time. One, two, breathe. I hope you did better the third time. All right, now we're going to move on to number four. Number four has a lot of quarter notes, and make sure when you're tonguing, you're using a syllable da or ta. Ta's a little rougher, da's a little smoother, but either way, your tongue should be hitting up behind the back of your teeth. Not between your teeth, but lightly behind it. Make sure, though, that you don't stop the air. The air is continuous. The tongue just gets in the way. This is number five. Starts on F. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Again, and one, two, three. Number six uses all three notes in the order we learned them. A, G, F. Make sure the first one sounds the highest. Here we go. One, 
two, one, two, three. Let's do it one more time. One, two, one, two, three. All right, we're ready to put those rhythms and notes to use in some songs. But before you do, do you hear a popping sound when you play, maybe a little bit of a bubbly sound? That's the condensation developing inside all of these tubes, and we need to get rid of that water. To do so, first, I put a towel down at my feet, remove the mouthpiece, and I'm gonna roll my horn this way, like I'm trying to spill something out of the lead pipe, because that's where most of the water is. It's down here. And I'm gonna give it a turn. Oh, look at that. Good thing I had a towel down there. I'll do it one more time. As a beginner, that's often where most of the moisture is. Your horn should sound better after that. Later on, we'll talk about pulling valve slides to get rid of some of that water as well. A lot of it gathers in the first one. Okay, we're ready to play Hot Cross Buns. It's a combination of drill six and drill five. Ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. between the lines. Did you hear me stop when I got to the end of the first line before going on to the second line? We want to make our music continuous, so get in a habit of going from one line right to the next line without stopping. Let's try it again. Let's see if I can do it more continuous and you can do it with me. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. I hope yours sounded better. Feel free to go back and rewind and play any of these things over again. It'll always help. There's one more song on this unit. Let's try it. It's the French folk song. It starts on the note F. Ready? Remember not to stop at the end of the line. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Let's do that one one more time. And remember to always be full of air and use a big airstream, especially for the higher notes. We want a big sound. Ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. How'd you do? 
I hope you did better the second time around too. French horn is really a wonderful instrument, but it takes practice and it takes some getting used to, especially matching the pitches. That's really a lot about what French horn is about, is being able to match pitches. So if you're having trouble matching my pitches, go back through, go back to the beginning and keep practicing making your sound match my sound, okay? You can even try doing it on just the mouthpiece as well. The more you play the instrument and the more you're focused on matching the sounds, the easier it gets. It doesn't get harder, it gets easier and you get better. I hope today helped you. We'll see you next time. Bye.